Hi, this is Manos Brilakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute. And this is case 95 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case entitled The Collateral Immobile. And the reason for this title will become apparent as we go through the case. This was a patient that was referred to us for PCI of an LAD CTO. A diagnostic angiogram that was done about four months prior to the present attempt showed that there was collateral, there were collaterals from the circumflex filling the distal LAD. However, it was very, very hard to see the mid portion of the LAD, and there were no collaterals coming from the right coronary artery supplying the LAD. Given that there were collaterals from the same side, we decided to go with a single guide catheter. This is an eight friends. 375 EBU guide catheter, and this is an injection that demonstrates a blunt proximal cap. There's an occlusion of the medial AD immediately distal to the takeoff of a small diagonal and a large first septal branch. The problem is we could not really see much about the distal vessel. The distal circumflex did not appear to give much collaterals to the distal LAD, which made this procedure quite challenging to do. And uh, Every plan about retrograde, wire escalation, and the sexual re-entry that was the original plan after review of the outside film fell apart. We did different views, tried to see if uh, there was a different feeling of the media distal LED, but once again, we could not really see where the vessel was. We could just see the proximal cap and then there was nothing for the media LED. We then decided to insert a second guide catheter, despite the lack of collaterals in the previous angiogram. And sure enough, after we injected from the right coronary artery, now there is nice filling of the LAD. And we can see that there is actually a fairly short occlusion, about 20 millimeters. There is now a good quality distal target. And there are both septal and epicardial collaterals supplying the mid LAD. So immediately this was transformed for a very challenging case as well as risky because we could not really see the vessel into a much more simple case where undergrade wire escalation was the first approach followed from undergrade sexual reentry and uh, leaving retrograde as a last resort option. We advanced a filter XTA guide wire which easily crossed from the proximal cap into the distal true lumen as confirmed from another contralateral injection into orthogonal projection. So that was a very easy crossing very quickly. The lesion was predilated, restoring undergrade flow and successfully stented with a single drag eluting stent. And this is the final result showing excellent T3 flow, which was achieved very quickly within 16 minutes of total procedure time, 5.2 minutes of fluoro and 1.3 uh, gray of radiation as well as 105 mLs of contrast. In the opera Rigoletto, the Duke of Mandua sings that La Donna Immobile qual più malvendo. La Donna Immobile qual più malvendo. Which means that women change their mind all the time, which is true, of course, for men and for many other things, including collaterals. Collaterals as these cases can be dynamic and can easily change and therefore doing dual injection is important even in some cases in which only ipsilateral collaterals exist. Thank you.